So in terms of uh, future therapies for obesity, I think a really exciting area is actually um, the uh, peptides or hormones which come from the gut. Now the gut is actually a tremendously complex uh, organ in terms of its endocrine regulation. By endocrine I mean hormonal. Uh, we know that there's many hormones that the gut releases which have a direct interplay with the brain and with the appetite centers. Now when we eat a meal, uh, it's quite a common experience to uh, notice that our appetite gradually becomes suppressed and if we've eaten enough then we become satiated so we no longer have an appetite and one of the main reasons for that is actually because of the hormones that the gut releases which is telling the brain to stop eating okay there are other reasons as well like the stomach expansion for example but certainly the hormo hormones coming from the gut are very important in appetite regulation and some of these have extraordinarily uh, suppressive effects on the appetite there's a hormone called PYY, for example, which comes from the small bowel, uh, which has a very potent suppressive effect on appetite. And uh, there's now research ongoing, uh, which is looking at uh, actually giving uh, these peptides uh, as an infusion, for example, uh, and looking at the effect on appetite and uh, therefore how much we eat. And I think in, in years to come, I, th I would imagine that such therapies will assume greater prominence uh, within uh, uh, as a therapeutic option, uh, purely because of the, uh, the strength of the data that we have already. And clearly this is still at an early stage. Uh, clearly there's a lot of hoops to jump through before a drug can actually be used in, in, in clinical practice in terms of safety and so on. But I would stress that these are natural uh, peptides or hormones released from the gut. So they're not as such drugs. They're actually, it, the idea would be to provide or, or administer a natural peptide that we all produce uh, but in higher concentrations uh, and thereby kind of impacting on appetite control. I think certainly if we look at the data in the literature uh, there's a lot now to say that you know really uh, one of the biggest determinants of our weight is actually our appetite it, it, and, and, and ultimately it's, it's behaviour uh, but what's driving eating related behaviors is clearly appetite there are other things as well but appetite is very important so really appetite lies at the heart of uh, weight loss control and if we can in some way suppress appetite then i think this is really the key to successful weight loss